So my guinea pigs have two hutches, one that we built, I did a video on that ages ago, and a chicken coop that was actually second hand from a friend for £30. So that was a pretty good deal actually, they're really expensive. Anyway, the outdoor chicken coop for them is great, it has like an 8 foot run, but the problem is they never use a run. This is because they have to go down the stairs. Now they can go up and down the stairs, I've seen them do it, they just choose not to. And so I did build a balcony for Pee Wee last year and when Teddy moved in at the end of summer they were both using the balcony totally fine. However this year Teddy has grown a lot since then and they can no longer both fit on the balcony together so there's a little bit of dominance about who actually gets to lay on there and who stays inside the chicken coop. So I wanted to solve this problem by making a run at the same height as the chicken coop. So they can just run straight out and they have a load of room to run around in. So basically this video is, I've just filmed all our progress and everything as I, we built the run and I've put it all together in a montage so you can see what we did. run is complete. I have to say my dad did do most of the work. Although I did help, I mean I put on all these like latches and everything <laughs> but it was difficult for me to film and do all the work of that so you know. I did do a bit. So I was going to clean these guys out but a lot of people ask me what it's like to own a guinea pig and I think this is as real as it gets you know. Guinea pigs poop. Don't you? Yes. So I was going to clean it but they've been living in here for a few days now um, so I'm going to clean them out today but as you can see mm -hmm, they, they do their own thing. Now what I've done is we put a roof on the top of this. This is to protect them from rain and all that so I don't have to clean out this bin every single day because on the first day I didn't have anything on it and it rained and Mm -hmm. It went terribly wrong. Also, we have these flaps that come down. Now, these are waterproof, and this allows me to turn this entire run into one whole big hutch at night. So, I don't have to shut them in here, especially when it's hot. I don't have to shut them in just one area. They have the whole run, and it looks like they have turned this similar to their inside because they have brought all the hay out here. So, this is going to be fun. This is the inside. <laughs> Once again, hay everywhere. They only have it in this area. They pulled it all out. This is their bed. They have a little curtain I made them. Don't judge. So you know, you need your little house things in here to match your bedding. Um, but yeah, once again, I'm going to clean them today. Now, before I go, I'm going to quickly do something I saw on Pet Palace TV. Because obviously it's a really hot day here. And um, she had like... A little, I think it's a frisbee, but I only have a dish. I'm gonna put some water in it, a bit of cucumber, and see how um, the guinea pigs interact with it. So I believe she only put cucumber in the water, but I've got like one strawberry that I've cut up into quarters, so I thought I'll put that in as well. Chances are they're gonna go for the strawberry first. 
I think this dish might be a little high, so there's a chance it could go toppling over. But let's go and see. Here you go, guys. Get back. Get back. Come on. Back. Good boys. Hey. Oh, look at this. Okay, they, that's definitely going to topple over. I'm going to have to hold it. No, Dad, Dad, Teddy. Oh, you tipped it over, Teddy. Look, all you need to do is nick a bit of cucumber. Don't, don't. We have a rebel. Teddy. So, last two pieces. I quite like this little game, actually. It makes him actually think, or rebel, like Teddy wanted to do. But it also makes sure that they're nice and hydrated because before you get a guinea pig, make sure you know they can't sweat. Besides, I think it can come out their paws. But besides that, did you just bring a bit of poop into Pee Wee? Oh, he's put a little poop on the end. Right, Ted, you take this. I can remove the. Ugh. Yeah. Um, they they can't sweat really. So if you live in really hot countries or it does get really hot in summer, just keep that in mind. So now it's in the evening, it's tea time. They've got their vegetables and their pellets in there and they also tend to throw the food around so they all get some. I threw a little bit of lettuce around as well. Teddy has found the lettuce. This has somehow turned into a routines video. <laughs> so now I just have to make sure that all their hay's topped up and all pushed down so they've got enough for tonight. I think it's pretty much full. So I just press it down and pull it through the little cage wire Thing. so the hay doesn't go all over the hutch but they can actually access it and now I'm just going to pull down all these sides of the hutch so that the cage is protected from the weather and also potential predators also it makes it nice and dark for them so they can use the entire hutch at night time mm -hmm. 